where the confusion comes is sometimes you think God ought to speak to you the way he does me. Or you think he ought to speak to you the way he does her. Or you think he ought to speak to you the way he does your grandma. You need to understand God knows you. Everyone say, God knows me. He knows your personality. He knows how you respond. And he will speak to you in such a way as an individual. And you have the faculty. You have the ability to hear. Mm. Listen to this. Brother Hagen used to say this. If God is no longer speaking, if, meaning you're not hearing him, then you need to go back to the last time he did. What did he tell you to do? This is Brother Hagen. What did he tell you to do that you are not doing? What did he tell you to stop doing that you're still doing? Go back to the, in other words, what Brother Hagen was saying, this isn't about a physical location necessarily. This is about going back to the last place of obedience. What did he tell you to do that you decided not to? Because if we're going to hear his voice, you need to understand there are some things that God can do with the obedient he cannot do with the disobedient. But my obedience is prerequisite of my hearing. I can't obey if I didn't hear. Is this okay this morning? 